for the whole west side of the reservation from Porcupine all the way to the uh, Prairie Winds Casino from Pine Ridge up to Red Shirt Table. We covered with three, three officers and, you know, we was bombarded with calls. Officer Tony Long Soldier is a supervisor for the Oglala Sioux Tribe Public Safety Department. There is federal funding for 44 tribal officers, but due to retention and recruitment problems, the force today numbers only 24. The workload and the tension levels can be high. It causes, you know, marital problems, um, children, but, you know, we all kind of help each other. We try to help each other. We try to encourage each other. I have a great concern for those officers because of the amount of work and stress that they're under uh, in trying to keep up with the, the daily traffic that they have to see. Officials are looking far and wide for solutions. I know that public safety has been in contact with outside um, entities and other law enforcement agencies that serve remote areas to try to figure out what strategies they've utilized. And also looking inward. Police Chief Eugenio Whitehawk is uh, wanting to, I would say, incorporate more of that, the old ways of, of policing into our normal, everyday policing. We've talked about reincorporating and reaching out to our Akichita societies. They're a traditional um, warrior policing type societies and involving our communities and community policing. Officials realize they won't solve anything in a vacuum. It's not just public safety's job. It's not just the court's job. It's not just the tribal government's job. It's everybody's responsibility to make sure our communities are safe. In Pine Ridge, this is Stuart Huntington, Coda Territory News.